You see that woman? See that woman who's just walking around everywhere? You probably can't see on the camera, but in the actual game, her eyes are two pixels. The lower pixel is black, but the upper pixel is red. Anybody care to explain that? Because I don't really get it. But you know what? She's not the star. We are! That's right, I'm Redskin1000. And after a fairly long break, which I immensely apologize for, I'm back! I'm back for more Pokemon Ruby Water Monotype Run, because the man can't keep me down, and neither can my laziness. Oh, I win. Anyway, last time we got our seventh gym badge from the Mosty Gym. I'm still shocked that, I, that the battle was that quick. But, you know, sometimes you just get lucky. Anyway, this time we're going to go do some things. What things, you ask? Well, we take a look at our Pokenav, uh... We have a lot of water to cover, specifically this. Because we want to go here. And we have a lot of water to cover to get here. And possibly I'll make a small detour along the way, but for now, I say we begin surfing. Because I'm surfing on light bulb. But if we take a look at our brand new Pokemon, Chin Chow, who uh, finishes out our team, I have taught it Thunderbolt and Surf. So yes, everyone who's saying, why the hell did you get the Thunderbolt TM? This is why. You thought I was crazy. You thought I was mad. But no, I had a purpose. And now, who's mad now? Who's mad now? Holy crap, I have a lot of repels. Either way, let's... Wow. I just, I put on a repel and then the pelipper and the... Get out of here! You know what I say to you, Mr. Pelipper? You get out of here! Hey, Jinja's already passed the level that it would normally evolve into Lantern. All it needs is one level. One level. Level. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's hope that doesn't happen again. I think I fought. No, I didn't. <laughs> I dive deep under water to go deep under cover. Plumbing the depths is where I excel. Uh, plumbing the plumbing the depths. What are you like the swimmer version of Mario? And you just like you know you take your plunger and your spanner and you just go underwater and fix pipes. Is that it? Is that what you do? Because that would be uh, kind of amusing to think about, especially if it actually was Mario. Oh, but nevertheless. We are playing Pokemon here. We are not playing Mario, so maybe we should get onto something a little more on topic. So what what could I talk about that's Pokemon related? Well, duh. The brand new Pokemon games that came out 16 days ago. Yes, or at least 16 days ago from the time I'm recording this. Because it is the 28th of October, and those games came out on the 12th. And they're probably partly the reason that I haven't had uh, much time to record because I've been playing them so much, oh my god, Pokemon Y and Pokemon X, although I got the Y version because, well, I had to pick one. So yeah, I got the Y version and, oh, it's awesome, oh my god, new Pokemon games, they're so good, ah. Uh. So it's a full body workout, you will get fit. So maybe that's why I'm not fit, because I don't swim. And I don't swim because I can't swim, because I'm a terrible swimmer. Well, I sort of can swim, but yeah, it won't go well after about two minutes. I mean, I can't even tread water properly. Seriously, I try treading water, and I'm like, oh, help me, help me, oh. Mr. Dragon Mage, fancy pants. So yes, Pokemon Y. Fantastic. That, that, that's all I can say is fantastic. And oh shoot, he's a toughie. One more Dragon Rage, and that's not going to end well for Chin Chow. So why don't we switch out into something uh, like... Uh, no Name! No Name! We'll be able to take a Dragon Rage and deal a sludge bomb to this jerk's face. Where? Uh, ah, oh, you son of a... Whatever, dude. Whatever. We'll just sludge bomb ya, and you're done. Gotcha? Good. Bye-bye. Ah, damn straight I win. Anyway. Let's see. We want to get some healing up in here. 
Oh yes, the potions haven't been aren't in a separate pocket like they are in later games. You must uh, get used to that. Hello, kiddo. Wanna battle with me? Duh, that's why I talk to you. Like even if I didn't talk to you, if you saw me, you'd demand one anyway. Do I really have a choice in it, Sunshine? But anyway, back to Pokemon Y. I have been loving it. Like, honestly, it's just like, OMG, fun, and just like, I've been playing and it's just like, I should be studying for exams, but it's uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, ah! I mean, come on. It's the examiner's fault. They should have looked up when these games were being released and planned exams accordingly. I mean, come on, I cannot be the only kid in Australia who has to prepare for exams yet is totally entranced by these new Pokemon games. I mean, come on! Oh no! That reminds me of something, but I'll talk about it after this. Turn. You know, an anglerfish. The little thing that, 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 that had the light in Finding Nemo, but turned out to try to eat them. Yeah, that wasn't very pleasant. But anyway, what did that oh no remind me of? Why, a song on our work radio. How did that one line remind me of a, one specific song on the work radio? Well, when you hear it every damn shift. Like, man, how, like... Okay, so I don't work that much. I'll, I'll admit that. Like, I don't work that much. But, I mean, seriously. Yeah, I hear the same songs, like, every time I do work. And even the times I go in there, I just hear the song and I'm like, Oh my god, it's just so annoying. Like, okay, a few of the songs aren't that bad. But some of them are just like, oh, so damn annoying, especially when you hear them over and over and you don't exactly know what the exact lyrics are, so you make up your own lyrics that involve taking someone into a corner and calling them Jack! <laughs> Try and guess what song I made up those lyrics. What, what song that's based on. And I don't want to use up too many Thunderbolts, so let's, uh... Yeah, let's get some other Pokemon in here, like... Uh, Betsy. Let's bring in Betsy. I guess I could use Spark more often, but still. I mean, yeah, I kept around Spark. Because, you know, you never know. I was thinking of replacing it with, like, Shockwave, because that has, you know, super-duper mega awesome accuracy. You know, those never-miss moves that yet in the anime can still miss. There's another, there's another thing, like, like, I've been watching a lot of the anime lately, and it's just like, wait a minute, isn't that move supposed to never miss? Wait, that move doesn't do that! That move doesn't do that! It's like one specific instance in uh, the Sinnoh variation of the anime where uh, Ash uh, gets his uh, Gligar. Is, um, if you notice, both him and that asshole Paul actually use electric moves on the Gligar and the leader Gliscor for that matter. And they actually work, and it's just like, um, pardon my youthful ignorance, but aren't they ground types? And don't you make like a big deal of electric type moves not hurting ground types? Except for that instance with the ride on, you know, aim for the horn and things of that nature. But yeah, it's just like, um, can't you, aren't you like breaking your own rules or something? Like, I know the anime can get away with a lot, but come on. Seriously. And here's another chin chow. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Well, we already have a light bulb, so I'm gonna say bye bye. Dun 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 $3,750. Okay, well, the real reason I dove here is in here, if we surface, light is filtering down from above. Would you like to use dive? I would love to. Because. Sotopolis City. This is the uh, next city and the city with the last gym. Sotopolis City Pokemon Gym. Leader Wallace. Artist and lover of water. I wonder what type this gym's going to be. You know, I just not sure. So let's go in. The door is closed. Well, it's not locked or barricaded or anything. It's just 
closed? Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Let me guess, you gonna challenge boss? Oh, you are really? You're awfully brave. But what? Is he gonna kill me if I lose? Jeez. Oh my god. So what? If I if I lose the gym battle, I get killed? What is this? Danganronpa! Yeah, my friend recommended that game to me, and I've been playing it a bit lately. It's actually uh, quite good. You know, you know, the story really grips you, and it's just like you see another one killed, and it's just like, what the fuck? Oh, I probably shouldn't swear, but still, it's like, oh my lord! It's pretty intense. Let's check out these houses, you know. Oh yeah, these people. Do you know the Pokemon Barboach? It's really Sinister Topless. I mean, I love. I love, I mean, I love BIG BARBOACH! My big brother says Shroomish is bigger, but that's wrong. Everyone knows that Barboach is a lot bigger. Do you have a Barboach? Please show me. Uh, No. And he'll just say, you have a big Shroomish, you know. I don't have a big Barboach or Shroomish, but I got a big something else. A big Wilmer. What'd you think I meant? Hello, you're our first guest in a good while. You've brightened up my day, so I'll give you a big Whalmer doll. And trust me, if you put this in your, your secret base, when she says big, she means big! Because Whalmer's like, what, six and a half feet tall? Taller than I am, and it's just a Whalmer. Lord. Listen up, and I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. There could be treasures just waiting to be discovered. Interesting. Yes, it's Azumarill. And then my friends laugh at me and say it's Azumarill. Excuse me, it's pre-evolution with Marill. I like knew barely anything about Pokemon back then. An underwater stroll, yes. Just make sure you can breathe, you know. Breathe, please. I I've never been out of this city. I wonder what it was like on the other side of this round sky. <laughs> yeah, imagine just living your entire life in a crater volcano. The sky is round and circular. I've never seen otherwise other than in pictures. Matt Pyre, I just speak of two orbs placed side by side. Did you know? Yes, two orbs side by side. The sides of them together. They're somehow soothing. How the hell can you see it from here? Can you? Do you have like binoculars or something? Or do you have like superpower old lady vision? Superpower old lady vision. Super. What about old man? What what superpower do old men get? Uh, is it telekinesis? Because I've always wanted telekinesis. Just be like, uh, uh the, the remote's too far away. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, it's a magic card. Yeah. Later. That's probably the ideal level to catch magic card at, since it evolves straight at level 20. Hi, what's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kiwi. My mommy and daddy named me that, so I would go healthy and warm-hearted. Yeah, because naming a person a certain name guarantees they'll be named, they'll grow up well. You know, names guarantee everything, apparently. That's what they wish. You can have one of these. Qualot. What the, what is a qualot? Like, qualot? Oh, and apparently I get the figgy. Figgy one, figgy two. Uh, RS1000. The wish to receive Skittles? I like that wish. Of course, who doesn't? Alright, here's the Mart. Fun Mart, happy Mart. Let's go, Mart. How do you do, Mart? Hey, Mart, what's up, Mart? I think I have things to sell. Like this big pearl. Buy it, please. Now, what can I buy? Intra balls. I can buy all this stuff, but it won't tell me how much I already have in my bag. I didn't do that till Emerald. Thanks, game! Thanks. Oh, well, I'll stock up later. I will need some... Like, how many Ultra Balls do I have? Let's go to my balls. Uh, five Ultra Balls. Uh, before I forget, I'm gonna buy a bunch more. Because, trust me, there's something coming up sort of soon that we're gonna need balls for. A lot of balls. Wait, yeah, this is Ruby. So with Sapphire, I'd, use, I'd buy a lot of net balls, but this is Ruby, so I'll just go with Ultra Balls. Hope I didn't say Sapphire at any point, because that's not the game I'm playing. I'm playing Ruby. Okay, so, now, there's one thing in this house I really, really, really want to get, and it is right here. For 30 years, I've remained topless, honing my skills. I developed a shattering TM. I bequeath it to you. 
<laughs> bequeath. That's like in, you know, the cornucopia of fun words. Cornucopia. What a mellifluous word. Let's make that our word of the day. Agreed. And we'll use mellifluous tomorrow. Ah, classic quote from Season 4, Episode 5 of The Big Bang Theory. The desperation emanation, if I'm correct. Another quote I like from that episode is, What would you be if you were attached to an inclined plane wrapped helically around an axis? <gasps> Screwed! There you go. Who might you be? This is the Cave of Origin. Spirits of Pokemon become that Mount Pyre is said to be revived here. Please leave. Uh, just please leave. At least he said please. You know, other, you know, unlike other people who are just like, LEAVE! He's like, please leave. But he didn't re although, you can't really figure the tone of voice, you know. Anyway, that's pretty much all Topless has to offer right now. There are obviously more things we'll do here, but uh, for now, it's best if we just uh, leave. Keep on surfing and keep on fighting trainers, because we're already at 16 minutes. Again, out underwater is pretty much just to explore, like, all this grass and stuff. There is a certain Pokemon I need to catch that you can only find underwater. Not for my team, but for a side quest. So, uh, I forgot to put a repel back up. Um, so I'll probably do that off screen since it's about a 5% chance, I believe, to, um, find. And it's not exactly that easy to catch either. So, um, I'll tell you about it when I get it. So let's see, who haven't I fought? Oh, there's a little dive spot here. Where will this take us? A blue shard! We could we could get a water stone from that if we needed it, but we don't. If we want if we say how to star you, we could evolve it into a star me! Star you, star me, star everybody. Now let's uh let's go. Cause we we got business to attend to. We got business. Let's see. I didn't really talk much about Pokemon Y, now did I? <laughs> That's one of my traits. I just go off into tangents, you know, and forget the topic at hand. Yeah, really, really didn't say much about Pokemon Y other than I absolutely loved it. But well, hey, it's the damn truth. I can see it in your face. You want to challenge me? That's why I talk to you. What is it with these trainers and like stating the obvious? Yeah, pretty much what we're going to be doing is just fighting a lot of swimmers and stuff. Well, this is a triathlete, but whatever. So yeah, going to be a lot of uh, just battles, 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 battles with these water types. Which is perfect for light bulb. Get some training up and have it catch up, you know. Because the rest of them are, rest of our team's like around level 38. So you know, light bulb's got to catch up. But this is the perfect time for light bulb to catch up. And it's going to be nice and strong for the 8th gym. Because it's going to be our player. It's going to be our star player for the 8th gym. Let me tell you that much. And why would you use camouflage when you're in the water? You're already a water type, ain't you? That reminds me of something. They introduced a new move in Generation 6 called Trick or Treat. It's a ghost type move. And what it does is it adds ghost to your type. So I'm wondering, if you're a dual type Pokemon, do you become a trio type Pokemon? Or does your subtype get overwritten? Or what? Like, because if you're a three-type Pokemon, I think that would just make type matchups really awkward. Like, just really awkward, honestly. It's like, um, yeah. And then there's the new fairy type, which you think you got it down, but then it's like, oh yeah, fire resists fairy. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> But, you know, it's a pretty interesting type. I was wondering, I did use a fairy type in the form of Gardevoir, because, you know, Gardevoir is awesome. So, yes. So I had a fairy type on my team in Y. You know, they, they tell you, those fairy moves, they can do a lot of damage. Like, the fact that fairy's totally immune to dragon, man, just, you have a, you, you see a dragon type, you just bring fairy along and boom, you're, you're, you're good. There's no stronger trainer than I. Oh, I, you mean what speedrunners constantly call themselves and their Pokemon? Just I? <laughs> I, 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 I think you're nuts. Uh, okay, this is a bad matchup, very bad matchup. So we're going to go to something that can take out this shift tree post haste. Something like n -n no name Harden! Oh, balls, sludge bombs, physical. 
Although, Ice Team isn't. Ah, darn. Hey, what's up with the Harden, dude? Look, like, I can understand shift, like, obviously, CDOT learns Harden, and that makes sense, but just think about, like, a shift tree using Harden, and it doesn't really make too much sense now, does it, Sunshine? Oh, well. Okay, hopefully you don't have too many more of these, yeah, I think, you know, these fancy cool trainers, while they only have, like, one hyper potion, they only have one. So, you know, these fancy, pantsy, uh, cool trainers... Nothing much to worry about. That was a good level up, as it looked like. I usually I designate a good level up as no ones. Usually like twos and threes. Maybe the occasional four is uh. I like that. I like to see that in the level up. Anyway, Graveler, yay! The yay, it's Graveler, and the jet in one of the generations before Sturdy was a totally broken and ridiculous ability. Seriously, it's ridiculous, man. Loudred, and I didn't teach Brick Brick the Crawdon. Ah, I'll do that afterwards. Let's get H2OMG in here. I know we haven't seen too much of H2OMG, but you know it evolves soon, so you know we want to get that. You know we want to see it. We want to see a Waylord. I'm sure you want to see a Waylord. I want to see a Waylord. Have we seen a Waylord? I don't think we've seen one, but we need one. So it's gonna need to evolve soon because we need one for something slightly later, so we'll finish off this Loudred because it howled and did absolutely nothing. Pretty much no problem. Bye-bye, Ruben. I know a Ruben. Good guy, good guy. Light bulb. Light bulb, yes. In theory, it's also technically another SpongeBob reference. That um, episode where Patrick goes to boating school and they have to save the egg and he goes to the closet to get a light bulb and he's like, Light bulb! Why does it have to be so far up? So he climbs the immense mountain of light bulbs just to get the one that's lighting the room. Yeah. I share the same name with that starfish. Go me! I'm gonna go no name because if this thing decides to poison powder, I'm not going to be happy. Or I could just do that. Oh wait, this game's part poison with the thing and the thing and the... Oh, darn, oh well. It won't use it, it won't, it's not like it's going to use it again. So now, let's go to Water Wings and let's see if we can do a good thing. Okay, we're going to fly. Up we go. Nice try, but you missed, and I didn't. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> someone try spelling that! Seriously, down in the comments, someone try and spell that. Oh, you... F <sighs> you know what annoys me? This! Whatever, L let's just get through this. Come on, come on, yes! Great job, Water Wings, great, great job. Very proud of you, I'm very proud of all my Pokémon, very much so, yes. Uh, Azumarill! See, I can say it right! Aha! What's my time at? Oh, 24 minutes! Let's see, I'm not sure how far I'll go, because we still got a long way till the next town, but maybe I'll split all this water adventuring into two parts, because there's gonna be a lot of swimmers! When I say a lot of swimmers, I mean a lot of swimmers. So Azumarill is hit with recoil. Und we take out the Azumarill. I don't know, so what's next? I don't know. Can we guys a watermelon? Wee! Yep. Because we all need a little more kamikaze watermelon in our Hey, genius! Try not opening the start menu! You know, while you're recording, try and look a little professional. 
so. So genius, yeah. Just you guys should keep that in mind. Let's see, what else do we have? I know there's some trainers over there, but I'll take care of them on my way to like the league and stuff because they're over there. You know, we, you know, we don't got time to fight everybody. You know, you guys want to see some action, and this isn't action. Come on, get out of here. Okay, what? Uh, I'm a little apprehensive. I think I should heal. Hyper Potion? Oh, I could use some more of those. Could I have bought some more of those? Maybe I should have. Do I have Paralyzed Heals? I have two Paralyzed Heals. Perfect! Yeah, maybe I should go stock up on some more items. I can do that off screen. I fought you. So, what's next? Well, of course I know what's next. Right, right, right. Oh, you! 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 You have to swim, cycle, and then run a marathon in a triathlon. It's really nice. It consists of three events. Let's see. Swim, I can't do. Cycle, my helmet doesn't fit. And run. Yeah, good luck getting me to run. Unless there's, like, some, you know, like, maybe there are a few instances where I'd run. But it's not often. <laughs> what are these star use using camouflage? Come on. You're supposed to be artificial intelligence. And I bumped the camera with my chin again. Hey, genius. Way to go. Try to look professional. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm professional. Well, I didn't see any ones, so yay. And yeah, Light Bulb's gonna be a major player in our team, trust me. I know we had to wait till after our seventh badge, but trust me, it will be well worth it. You'll see. You'll all see! I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but sure, why don't we battle? Yeah, like that person, that other person was in a triathlon, yet they were swimming back and forth. This person's swimming in a rectangle. And it's just like, hey, let's battle. Although I'm in the middle of a triathlon and just swimming in a square. I tell you, these CPUs, man, like, they make no sense. Oh, there was something I was gonna do and I forgot to do it like an idiot. Oh, well, I guess it's not urgent. I can save it for later. I might save it till uh, after we get to the next town because then I can just fly back to that town and it'll make life a lot easier. So, yes. I will do it then, because now that we've got the second, seventh badge, unless I already did it in the last episode, I don't think I did. Did I? I may have to rewatch that episode, but I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm an idiot. You probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll keep it a surprise, although it's not really, won't really be that much of a shock. But whatever. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah. You know, screw it, let's finish him off with a surf. We don't want to waste too much PP, you know? If I was trying to catch it, that would be perfect. Yeah, that actually um, happened once. Uh, sorry. I was facing an Onyx in, I believe it was Platinum. I was fighting an Onyx and got him down to low health, and I thought, oh, okay, I'll catch this thing. So I threw a Pokeball, and it's like, the trainer blocked the Pokeball. Don't be a thief. Hey, yeah, I kind of forgot I was fighting a trainer. Go me! I am so smart! I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. That's ah, just hit and run. Great game, great game. Yeah, my friend had it for Xbox. I got it for PC. Fun, fun. Anyway, oh, what's my time at? 28, 26. Probably don't want to keep going for too much longer. Say, hey, hey, let's get on with it. That's, that's a good point. Let's get on with the video, man. I think I might end it after this trainer, and the next episode we'll fight all the rest of the trainers on the way to Pacific Log. Parvanas. Not too good in the field of defense. Just don't attack him physically. You know the drill by now. Oh my god. What has my commentary become? I swear. Oh god, this commentary. Yeah. Oh well. I try to make my commentary, you know. Good. Or at least, you know, entertaining. So hopefully, my commentary's been entertaining enough. And if it hasn't, well, you know, tell me these things. If I suck, please tell me, but in a nice way. If I suck, please just tell me in a nice way, and I'll know to improve. Anyway, we're gonna fight. Drop it out. Drop it out. Drop it out. Drop it out. And down goes the Sharpedo. Get out of here and give me a level up. Thank you, sir. 
Ah, uh, ones, ones everywhere. Sphiel! Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight a Sphiel, it's too adorable! Aww. You're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? Wow. It's just, uh, you should never have to fight something that adorable. Beat! I'm beaten, that's it, I'm done. Alrighty then. Oh, there's another trainer down here. He almost saw me. Well, there's another trainer over here. I guess I'll finish off with this trainer. You know, and then I'll get to the next trainer and be like, I'll finish off with this one. Then I get to the next one, I'll finish off with this one. <laughs> no, this will be the last trainer, I swear. It, it, hey, she's got a chinchat too. This thing has Volt Absorb. That's probably not a good thing. Let's bring out P. Sherman. We haven't seen P. Sherman yet in this episode. So let's bring him out. There he is, our faithful swamper. Hurt. You stupid! Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 don't. Do I have a full heal? Please tell me I have a full heal. I have five! Lovely. No water guns can save you. No. No water guns can save you now. Mud shot. All done. Love disc. Uh, yes, love disc. Um, light bulb. Come on, back. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm ending this episode soon, because I don't think, I think my commentary is starting to, vault, to devolve, you know. You know, Pokemon may evolve, but my commentary is starting to devolve. So, let's just finish off this trainer. Late love disc. A Palipper. Nope, we ain't gonna change. We gonna take out this Palipper post haste. A bit protect. I don't have that many Thunderbolts, buddy. Aha, perfect. But it failed. This thing with NPCs using Protect, it's like just, all it is is a waste of time, man. Just, just a waste of time. And there goes Swimmer Tisha. So, like I said, that will end off the episode. I might as well do a little something something while I'm saying goodbye. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, the water monotype one, we're going to finish off heading on these water routes towards... Pas no, Pastoria, Pacific Log. Towards Pacific Log City. We're going to fight a lot of swimmers, and we're going to have some fun. So, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like, if you want to, leave a comment. Maybe be give a big thumbs up to this video if you really enjoyed it. And I will see you next time for more Pokemon Ruby water monotype goodness. Because everyone needs a little more water in their day. Yes, drink plenty of water, everybody. Goodbye.